In this problem, we are considering taking a student loan for 13000 that will be paid back in nine years at a rate of 5.9% compounded monthly, which means we are making monthly payments. We want to find out what is the unpaid balance after two years. Okay, this is our objective. What is the unpaid balance after two years? So let's first figure out what's going on here. Okay, so we're borrowing some money. So the, the amount of money we're borrowing is $13,000. We're borrowing this at a rate of 5.9%. In decimal form, if we, if we divide that by 100, that will be 0 0.059. Now the time uh, is nine years because that's how long we're borrowing the money for. The question says, what is the unpaid balance after two years? So for two years, you have been making your payments. If you make payments for two years, how much money is left that, to pay? So if you're making monthly payments for two years, we first have to figure out what are the monthly payments. And that'll be part one of the problem. This, this problem will be split up into two parts. Part one is what are the monthly payments? Now, why do we need this? We need the monthly payments because um, we are paying these each month for two years. And we just got to figure out how, what, what, is, what is the balance that's left over. Okay, so I'm going to click on uh, the first calculator, which is payment given loan amount. So we know what the loan amount is. We want to find the monthly payment. So I start by clicking on that. And I put in my variables. So my, I know that my principal amount is uh, 13,000. The interest rate is 5.9%, which in decimal form is 0.059. And the term is a nine-year term. We're borrowing for nine years. So we, we're told that our monthly payment is going to be 155.43, round to two decimals because we're dealing with dollars and cents. Okay, so our monthly payment is going to be 155.43. This is how much money we're paying for two years. And our goal is to figure out how much money do we still have left to pay? What is the unpaid balance? So this, this brings us to part two. In part two, we know that our monthly payment is 155.43. Our interest rate hasn't changed. Our interest rate is still going to be 0 0.059. But the time, here's where you have to be a little bit creative. Okay, so let's think about this. Our original term for the loan was nine years but you've been making payment for two years. That means we have seven years left of payments. And we wanna figure out what is that unpaid balance for these remaining seven years. So these seven years, that's where we have the unpaid balance. So our time T is going to be seven years. Why is it seven? Because we wanna find the unpaid balance how much money do we still have to pay if we're making payments of 155.43 per month at a rate of 0 0.059 for a total time of seven years? So for this, we're going to go to the second calculator. We want to find the loan amount given the monthly payment. So I click on this. My monthly payment is 155.43. The interest rate is 5.9%, which in decimal form is 0.059. And this time, we have seven years left of payments to make. We made payments for two years, which means we have seven years left of payments to make. And our answer there is going to be 10674.65. That's how much money we still have left to pay for if we have paid for two years, but we still have seven years remaining. Okay, so if you put this in, this, in the second calculator, the loan amount given payment, then our answer comes out to be $10,674.65. This, this is the unpaid balance. So for these problems involving unpaid balance, always start by finding the monthly payment. Once you have the monthly payment using the first calculator, then go to the second calculator, which is which calculates a loan amount if we know the monthly payment put in the monthly payment, put in the interest rate, and put in how much time is left for us still to pay.
In this problem, after making the 23rd payment on your car loan, you wanted to find out how much is left of your original six-year loan at 5.6% compounded monthly, which means we're making monthly payments of 25,000. What is the amount remaining uh, in the balance of your car loan? Okay, so let's put this up into two parts. Part one, here's what we know. We know that our principal amount is 25,000. That's how much the car cost. That's how much money we had to borrow. Okay, the money borrowed was at a rate of 5.6%. If you convert that to a decimal, this gives you 0 0.056 if we divide this by 100. And the original loan was for six years. So T, this is going to be six years. First thing we have to do is we've got to figure out what is the monthly payment. Right. What is a monthly payment? To figure out the monthly payment, we're going to click on this first calculator, which says uh, payment given loan amount. Okay, so we know that a loan amount is 25,000. We know that our interest rate is 5.6%, which is 0 0.06. We know that the, the term is six years. If we know the loan amount and we just want to find the monthly payment, we're going to use that first calculator. So I'm going to click on that. All right, and um, Here's what I have. I'm going to close this old one. All right, so the, the car cost 25000 so I'm borrowing $25,000. It's my loan amount. But it comes with an interest rate of 5.6%, which is 0 0.056. And the time is six years. So if you take a look at our monthly payment, it's going to be 409.62. Okay, so I'm going to go back here, and my monthly payment is going to be 409.62. Now, I'm paying this for 23 months because it says after making the 23rd payment. So this loan amount of 409.62, I've made 20, 23 payments. I've been paying this for 23 months. So in part two, here's what I know. I know that I'm making payments of 409.62 each month. At an interest rate of 5.6%. Uh, so my interest rate is 5.6%, which is 0 0.056. And now this time, my time is in months because it says after making the 23rd payment. So we've been paying for 23 months. But the problem here is that time always has to be in terms of years. So we know that if I want years, I'm going to put years on the numerator. And I want to cancel out the months. I'm going to put the months on the denominator. I know that one year has 12 months. So by doing this, the months will cross cancel. And I'm, my units are in years. So if I have 23 times 1, that's 23 divided by 12 years. That's going to be my time. All right, now let's think about this. 23 over 12 years, um, this is how long I've been making monthly payments for. Okay, so I've been make, making monthly payments for 23 months. I want to figure out what is the balance left for the remaining. So I have a six-year loan. My, my loan is for six years. And I've been making payments for 23 over 12 years. Now, if I take six minus 23 over 12, a quick re recap about subtracting fractions, I need to make the 6 into a 6 over 1. Okay, and if I do that, I'm going to multiply the denominator by 12, and I'm going to multiply the numerator by 12. Because I want to make this 1 into a denominator of 12. I want to re rewrite 6 over 1 as a denominator of 12, so all I have to do is I have to multiply the numerator and denominator both by 12. So 6 times 12, this gives you 72. 1 times 12 is 12. Notice that 72 over 12 is the same thing as 6 over 1. But we write this using a denominator 12, so we can subtract this. And then we got minus 23 over 12. So this gives you 49 over 12 as the number of years that are still remaining. Because the question says, what is the remaining balance? So to find the remaining balance, 
we need to subtract off six years minus the amount we've paid. This tells us how many months we still have to pay for. Okay, so our time is going to be 49 over 12 years. This will be our time. So let's go ahead and take this information and plug it in. Our monthly payments are 4962. Our interest rate is 0 0.056. And our time is 49 over 12 years. How do we get that? We get that by subtracting our, our 6, which is how many years we borrowed the money for, minus 23 over 12, which is how many payments we've already made, because we made payments for 23 months. Okay, so let's go to uh, let's go to our second calculator, and the second calculator is going to be this one. It says find the loan amount given the monthly payment. So we know what our monthly payment is. Our monthly payment is 409.62. Our interest rate is 0 0.056. And then N is 49 over 12. So we made a payment for 23 months. There was a six year term. So if, if we take six minus 23 over 12, that gives you 49 over 12. And this tells you that our balance remaining is going to be $17,904 and 76 cents. So once again, when you do this problem, split it up into two parts. In part one, use the first calculator to find the monthly payment. In part two, take that monthly payment, take the interest rate. And for time, always put the remaining time. How, much how, how many months do we still have to, or how many years, because time always has to be in years. How many years do we still have to make payments for? Put that in into the second calculator, and you will get your loan amount.